Hey, what's up, shitheads? Today we're out in San Francisco. We're gonna be riding around the ESOS Five Star and the Wired Freedom. Cause you know, guys, it is a toxic election cycle and I wanna bring a message of unity. And I wanna show that a wired bike can ride with a five star and there's not gonna be any problems. So hey, my friend Frank's joining me. He has a uh, background in um, tar trials. Trials riding. Yeah. Trials riding, so he's a very good rider, but it's been a while and it's his first time riding one of these heavy bikes, so. We're gonna get going and see how the day ends up. Anyways, guys, come on, let's get going. So I parked here. My goal for today mainly is to not have my truck get bipped. And for those of you not in the know, bipping means where they come and break your window and steal your belongings. Luckily, I don't have anything uh, important in there. And I'm on the Wired Freedom today and he's gonna be riding the Five Star. This has been a little bit since I've ridden my Freedom. We are now riding down the Embarcadero. We're going over to Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf. See the world famous sea lions. We're gonna see a lot of stuff in today's videos, guys. We're gonna see a lot of stuff in today's videos, guys. Uh. What do we want? When do we want it? I'm not gonna be able to get too close here, but check it out. Oh, the sea lions are there. You can definitely smell it. Interesting fact is that uh, there's great white sharks in this area, but for whatever reason, I guess they don't come into the bay. So the sea lions are rather safe over here. This is new here. Ferris wheel, first time I've seen this. No idea how long it's been here before. All right, guys, we're gonna take this bike and we're gonna take this jump right out here and see how far we can make it. Remnants of old military installations available to walk around and explore. But we're not doing that today. We are riding our bicicletes. We're gonna be doing some extreme downhill section here. Okay, not really, but it's a little bumpy. Stream! Stream! Guys, this is an area called Sea Cliff. These are the most expensive houses in San Francisco. Lots of famous people have lived here over the years. Kirk Hammett from Metallica owned a house out here. Tom Cruise, Robin Williams. That's where the venture capitalists, this is where very wealthy people live. And if you look around, you can tell why. Extremely expensive houses here. And guys, I would probably live here too if more of you would use my, my coupon codes to buy your bikes. But instead, I live in poverty in Antioch, California. And I only, and you guys are to blame for that. Look at that bad boy. There's the Golden Gate Bridge back there where we just ran, came from. Rode all the way around. Now we are in the Sea Cliff area. Very exclusive. This is China Beach. Since Gold Rush times, this was cove was always used as a campsite. Can you believe that? Really nice place. But we're gonna do a little bit of a parkour here. I'm Shoot the Chit, and this is Sea Cliff jumping. Oh, that sucked. I'm Shoot the Chit, and this is Sea Cliff stunting. Now check out this big old one house on the hill right up here. That's a. Uh, Quite the mansion there. Whoa, look at this kid. He's bombing. Oh, this is ridiculously nice. Hey, this looks like to be the last mansion here in Sea Cliff, at least where we're going. To a place called Land's End. Then we're right into this beautiful. Uh, golf course here right in the middle of San Francisco. I guess it's not really in the middle, it's more on the edge. There they are. Okay, we are coming up here on the world famous uh, Cliff House. This is O2 
Ocean Beach right here. It does kind of smell like up dog out here though. Yeah, it's weird. I'm getting a very strong scent of up dog. You guys smell that? It's a better view of Ocean Beach for you. You see this windmill over here in Golden Gate Park? And that's actually where we're going next. We are now entering Golden Gate Park. Hi, I'm an influencer. I, I'm a YouTuber. You know, you hear so much of the negative stuff, you forget this. This city is, it has a lot of uh, positives to it too. Do some extreme mountain biking here through Golden Gate Park. Uh-oh. Woo, sand is so sketchy, guys. Not a fan. I don't know how that tail happy is always riding through sand. It is not, a, I'm not a fan. You keep up your speed, it's not so bad, but as soon as you start slowing down, you, know, you just like squirming all over the place. The good thing is, if you uh, happen to rack in the sand, it's not gonna hurt too bad. This is a nice little path through here. You, know, you really could spend an entire day riding through the park and just finding different paths. Because if I look here, there's paths that go off every which direction. Uh-oh. Uh oh my gosh, we almost died just now. We almost died. Hey! <laughs> there she is! Hey guys! Guys, this is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's another driverless car. There's a lot of these things out here. And we've made it to Gordo Taqueria, my favorite Mexican restaurant. Just for burritos, guys. Not all around Mexican, but if you want a good burrito, check out Gordo Taqueria. Here it is, guys. Gordo Taqueria. Well, can I get two carne asada super burritos? Pinto beans. Carne asada. Uh, just the green hot sauce, the hot one. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's good. Sour cream. That's good. The same one. The next one's gonna be the same exact way. It's amazing how there's just people going every which way direction out here. You know, each one of these people has their own lives. They're doing their own little thing unique to each day, and it's just kind of crazy. You know, you get siloed off in your own life, and you kind of realize you have your small circle of friends. But then you look, guys. We are surrounded by just people everywhere, and they're all doing their own thing. We're gonna get our food and go back to the park, and I can't wait to show you this burrito. Anyways, guys, let me know what's your favorite taqueria. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a little picnic. Well, check this out. We're having a bro picnic here, hashtag no homo. So here it is, guys, the Gordo Burrito. It's not super huge, that's what she said, but it's a, it's, it's a nice size, but what I really like about these, I love the salsa for starters. This is a habanero-based salsa. Really spicy, but it's not a gimmick spicy. It's spicy, but it's got a great flavor. There it is. Super lean meat. There's not a bunch of grizzle on these at all. Great salsa. Highly recommend Gordo's Taqueria. If you're interested in getting a burrito from Gordo's, use the link in the description of this video and coupon code shoot to chit to save 10% off your burrito. Okay, I don't have an affiliate with Gordo's, but if you're ever in the area, give it a try. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this uh, bro picnic in the park and then uh, we're gonna get back out on the road. You know, if I was a professional e-bike channel like one of those others, I probably would have started by Strava or maybe that uh, Ride app or whatever. But you know what? I didn't. So uh, we're not going to know anything. We're not going to know any stats of today's ride. That's what you get for living in the moment. I'm on my Bluetooth. Not you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It says no dogs allowed and there's a dog right there. We should get the police out here immediately. This is a war zone through here, guys. Bye. Goodbyes are always the hardest. And these driverless cars are absolutely everywhere. Do I do it? I'm going for it, guys. I did it. I'm so cool. Cakewalk. Here's where a bunch of hooligans come and hang out by the Garfield statue. 
Look at all these pretty flowers. They're almost as pretty as you. Would you like the race? So we're in the panhandle section of the park here. And believe it or not, this is where panhandling originated from. That's just why you come to San Francisco today and you see so many people panhandling. It's all because the whole panhandling movement started right here in the uh, panhandle of Golden Gate Park. Did you know that? Do you know how to get to San Francisco from here? I think we're lost. Here goes nothing, guys. <laughs> that was sketchier than it looked. There's a dog. Bikey boy! Ah! Here we go, guys. We are at Alamo Square Park, where thousands of people come to look at the full house houses, AKA known as the Painted Ladies. All these people have come here just to stare at the houses. I read a Looks funny. Like a full house. Ha! How would you feel living there, and then everyone at this park is just sitting there facing your house? Isn't that kind of weird? You wake up in the morning, look out your window, and there's just hundreds of thousands of people just looking in at your house. You just come here all day long and stare at the painted ladies. And I guess further down the road, those are the ugly ladies, because those ones don't get much that much attention. These are the ones everyone comes here to see. Not those other hideous ones. Ugh, don't even look at those anymore. Okay, we're going down these steps here. We're professional riders. Do you guys think we're cool now? I'm at 59 volts, so we're a little under, you know, about 45% battery or so. Which is nice, I think we got most of our major hill climbing out of the way. I've gotten kind of used to riding the uh, Dual Star, which has no range anxiety at all. So going back to the single battery bike, you know, it's kind of a weird feeling. The FedEx, maybe somebody's getting a delivery of their brand new e-bike. Oh, now he's trying to race my friend. Hey, I won. Oh, the Fillmore. JT, the bigger figures from here. We got all sorts of people came from the filthy Fillmore right here. Hi, hello. This is what's known as Japantown right here, Japantown Mall. <laughs> this is cool. There's this little uh, bridge that goes over the road, but there's actually a restaurant up there in that bridge. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Man, these people just love stopping in the middle of the street in San Francisco. I don't like bombing down the streets in San Francisco to make you feel alive. coming up hot on Union Square right up here on the right. <laughs> okay, so this is actually where I wanted to show you guys. Very relevant to recent news is because yesterday, 49ers rookie, uh, Ricky Parcells, was shot in an attempted robbery right here on Gary and Grant. Now, I don't know exactly where it happened. Oh, I, oh, I guess she wasn't waving at me. But it was right here at Gary and Grant. It was uh, targeted and had, Ricky Parcell had a Rolex watch on and the assailant, a 17 year old kid from Tracy, tried to rob it from him. There was a, uh, there was a struggle and both of them ended up getting shot. Now luckily, Ricky Parcell was shot in the chest but it went in and out so he's gonna be fine it sounds like. And the, uh, the suspect was also shot and who cares what his condition is, right? But that happened right here yesterday. Look at that nice Ferrari right there. If you guys use my affiliate links more, I'd be driving something nice like that. But no, Ugh, you guys, you guys need to do more to support my lifestyle. There's Dulce and Gabbana. It's a nice designer outlet. So it's only buses and uh, bikes and stuff through here now. Oh God, man. Guy almost saw I was on an unrestricted bike. That was close. Whew. Guys, here is Market Street right here. Now, I've seen other videos of people riding up and down Market, and it looks like a lot of stuff on this road has been closed. But, you know, so far, it looks like these businesses are open. Ghirardelli right there. 
So I can't tell if that's open. But here's what current day Market Street looks like. Hey, there's my friend. What's he doing over there? Hey, remember me? Oh God! Ah! It's nice that there's no, we don't have to deal with those annoying polluting cars. We're so much better than them on our electric vehicles. We're saving the world. Karen! It does feel weird with just buses riding here. Because Market Street before they did this was super busy. So this is like always gridlocked with cars and now it's just looks so much different. You guys take reservations? I'm gonna try it. Woohoo, no problem. Back down to. Okay guys. We're in, I'm shoot the chit and this is climbing stairs. Oh, guess I better put my bike in power mode. Ah! Oh, okay. Attempt number two with the bike turned on this time. Easy. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they ever turn on the water in here anymore, but they used to. Cool, oh, but uh, I'm a fraidy cat, guys, okay? I'm a fraidy cat, okay? I'll admit it. I don't know about legendary. <laughs> oh, it's a video game. It's Frank's giving it a try. Ooh, he's doing better than I did. He's doing the diagonals. Ooh. Guess I should get out of his way. Made it. Nice. It was ugly though. All right, this is the scary part right here. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Okay, that was scary. Okay, go ahead and get out of here and get off. <laughs> Looks like security's out here had enough of everyone's shit. But we're gone. We're leaving. Look at this guy on a Super 73 here. There he is. We're in Super 73 territory here, guys. We gotta be very careful. The Super 73s don't take kindly to competition around here. So if they find out we've been stunting in their hood, it's not gonna end well for them. Yeah, this is just one of the many clubs here, out here. The Cabriolet. Hi, sir. Oh God, we almost died. Vanity Premier Topless Gentlemen's Club. Elaine's Kitchen here, where they serve your food fully clothed. Threading the needle here between the cars. Big owls. Okay, now this is right around the corner. We're gonna be getting into North Beach. Nice Camaro here, 69. Uh-oh, go Lakers. All right, here we go, guys. We are at uh, this parking lot. Ah, just kidding. We are at Coit Tower. Check it out. Now, I've heard this tower is built to mimic a fireman's hose, the nozzle at the end. And I've also heard that it's, you know, a phallic thing. If that's the case, if it's phallic, then why is it so small? Just kidding, but uh, there's an awesome view. I've never actually gone to the top of the tower, but my uh, work is by here. And I used to walk up the steps here very frequently. Hey, I know you. Another place in this city that's actually absolutely overwhelmed with tourists. There's just tourists everywhere. We have one more spot, guys, I wanna show you today. And I think we're gonna conclude a very, oh my gosh, another driverless car. Watch, where'd you learn how to drive? And uh, yeah, I think that'll conclude this epic day of bicycle riding in San Francisco. It is, there's the Bay Bridge, Transamerica building right there, the Salesforce Tower. 
You know, from here, the Salesforce Tower looks big, but if you look at the city from other angles, the Salesforce Tower absolutely overpowers the, uh, the skyline. But this is a nice place to get a view, a nice place to uh, find a place to sleep for the night as well. As that guy found out down there. But I'm gonna stop ruining these people's picture and uh, we're gonna move on. Oh my gosh, we almost wrecked. We a nice view here of Treasure Island. OGs of the channel might remember that time I rode home from Treasure Island. And it just seems like it seems like it was just a week ago now. Look, I'm in good shape. I'm just going right up the hill. What'd you say? <laughs> this is super steep. This is probably the steepest street I've seen in San Francisco. Look how good of shape I'm in. I can go right up. Guys, I'm in such good shape, look. How come they don't care? Whew. Man, I'm so... Sh Here it is, fellas. The bottom of the world famous Lombard Street. Guy has a sign on his window that says, nothing inside, empty. Preemptively doesn't want his car broken into. All right, guys, we're gonna go down the world famous Lombard Street. These people think I'm talking to myself, or they keep looking back to see like if I'm someone important. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, I'm not. Look, we're riding bikes down Lombard. Do it for the gram, that's the one. Hi. Hello. You're going the wrong way, guys. I would not. How would you like to live on Lombard Street and have people just going down your street all day long? Uh oh. Leaning in the last corner. Oh, that was fun. We officially conquered Lombard Street. Oh man, this is steep. <laughs> oh, this is steep. Oh God, steep. Steep, steep, steep. I haven't ridden this bike in a while and the battery is really loose on here. I need to put like a strap to hold this battery tight because I just keep hearing it rattle around. Other than that, Everything is mostly fine. The cool thing about riding in San Francisco is you get to see lots of the sights and sounds and it's a beautiful scenery. The bad part is you are just one second away from being ran over by a car at any given time that you're out here. So you gotta take the good with the bad guys. There's a Chinatown down there. Great place to buy stink bombs or M1000s if it's around the 4th of July. All right guys, that was quite the doozy. We are wrapping up our tour of San Francisco. We did, I don't know, like I said, I'm not a professional e-bike channel. I forgot to set my uh, Strava, so I don't know how far we went, but we went all over the place. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, check out the lunch buffet here at the Garden of Eden. Uh oh they're watching. They've got eyes and ears on us. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. He's getting it. <laughs>